we present some new features of the Lynx 5.3 release. The new Lynx and Elgate models are now supported. Equipped with dual Ethernet, a built-in firewall and LCD display, these new models serve as a plug-in replacement for the older devices. Existing data point configurations and device backups can be used without modification. Only Logicat programs need to be recompiled for the new hardware resource. In addition, the new models also support Leop Connect, Wireless Technologies and KNX. An extended support for US units has been built into Loitec devices. A device can now be configured to run either in the SI or the US unit system by defining SI and US units per data point. When configured for US units, all data points and LEOP IOs process values in the respective US units. This includes the web UI, the OPC server, the parameter file, global connections and Logicat programs. Also, the configurator displays values in US units and conversions are done automatically. A device can even be switched from one unit system to the other. A system register shows the currently running unit system. This makes it easy to entirely engineer a device in US units or build devices that be configured for either European or US markets and meet local requirements at the same time. Lynx and Elgate devices are extended by their own OPC client technology. Using the OPC client you are able to integrate other Loitec devices simply by importing the data point configuration of their OPC server. This way, for example, an Elgate device can be added to a Lynx or Elgate configuration in a few steps. To add an OPC server, select the OPC client port folder Right-click and choose New OPC Device from the context menu. Select a Loitec device configuration file, such as a .links or .dali. In the New OPC Device dialog, select Commission Later or enter an IP address or host name and HTT port for the web service. A new OPC Device folder will be created, holding all the imported data points. The Lynx and Elgate devices now come with a pre-installed version of the LWAP 802 application. This enables out-of-the-box LWAP applications on-site without internet access. An enhanced web UI also allows installing a specific version of the LWAP 802 application, which overrides the pre-installed one. The following options can be configured. Loitec website. This is the default setting. The URL points to the official LWAP 802 application released on the Loitec website. Pre-installed on device. With this setting, a pre-installed local version of the LWAP 802 application is used directly from the device. User installed on device. Choose this setting to store a user-supplied version of the LWAP 802 application on the device. Custom URL Choose this setting if the LWAP 802 application has been loaded onto a web server other than this device. Enter the appropriate URL. The new documentation editor allows storing files on the device or create documentation links as URLs. Both items can be viewed by guest users. To upload a documentation file, go to the configuration menu and click on the Choose File button. Select the file to upload 
and click on the Upload button. Enter link text used to display the uploaded file on the documentation page. To add a documentation link, click on the plus symbol in the header row of the documentation links section. Enter the URL and the text used to display the link on the documentation page. Links and files can be set active and inactive on the documentation page by checking the Enable checkbox. Inactive entries are not displayed on the documentation page. The checkbox New Window determines if the link or file is opened in the new browser tab. If Show in browser is checked, the browser will try to render the file in the browser. Otherwise, it will try to download the file. Devices that support the KNX protocol now have a built-in protocol analyzer. It can be accessed through the KNX statistics web interface and allows starting, stopping and storing protocol logs on any of the KNX interfaces. If the analyzer is started, an automatic refresh is performed every 5 seconds. Protocol logs can be stored in CSV or in XML format. The XML format can be opened in the ETS protocol viewer. Detailed information to the Lynx and Elgate 5.3 release can be found in the README file of the Lynx Configurator 5.3, the README file of the firmware 5.3 of the Lynx and Elgate devices, and in the manual in the chapter What's New in Lynx and Elgate 5.3.